Thank you all for taking this journey with us. Your presence means a lot to us. Your words of comfort and delightful thoughts encourage us and give us hope. We are here to celebrate the life of my husband, Emilio. I am here to tell you a little bit of history. January 31st, 2021, the date when my husband contracted this deadly disease virus COVID-19. His oxygen level dropped to 72. He managed to drive, although he already felt something wrong going on. But he even passed by Walmart to buy a to read. He would have he would be lost if the Kaiser Downey urgent care was far. Doctors made their best effort to normalize his oxygen level, and after 18 days, they succeeded. He came home and continued his rehabilitation at home. He was able to beat this wild virus. I said, ha, and you outsmarted you. People said it was not the this time. But then, at exactly the same day, January 31st, 2022, a year after, my son Rafael and I brought him at the emergency room of Kaiser Permanente. This time, he did not make it. Not COVID-19, but the culprit was pneumonia. He had severe infection of the lungs and other organs that were affected. Then people said, his time has come for this pneumonia. In less than three days, the Reyes family lost a dear loved one. Death took away my partner, my best friend, and my handsome daughter husband. This experience shocked us, shook our faith, weakened our belief, and even questioned our understanding of God's will. I talked to God about it. I asked Him why it happened. It was so unexpected, so sudden. My husband was still in the prime of life. He still has a lot of dreams that are needed to be fulfilled. Lots of plans. Why, Lord? It is hard to handle this kind of pain, Lord. My heart is broken. We are devastated. I cried. My kids cried. But I know God answered me. He talked straight to me. He knows hurt. He knows our tears. He knows his appointments and our Savior and confesses with us. He talks straight to me, reminding me who he is, even if things don't turn out the way we had hoped for planned. Storms of life will come. But if you have a solid foundation of faith, then you will never be shaken, no matter what happens in your life. They may not always say you are a storm, but it will help you stay up right and not get lost. Ellen and I shared in the belief that beyond the material and the physical, there is eternal. For sure I will still see him. That is what the Bible says. They call it resurrection morning. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. I look forward to that. I will still see that. That is for sure. I will surely miss this guy. I don't want to remember him. Laying in that coffin, lifeless and cold. I want to remember him in his best form. Handsome, mestizo. 
the guy who I met some 49 years ago along Central Market in Kiapumini. I wanted to remember him as the guy who stood beside me all along the rocky and hilly road that we went through this life, in this life. I wanted to remember him during sweet moments when I held his hand and I whispered to him, God, give you to me. I wanted to remember him as the guy who never called me honey or sweetheart, but instead he raises his voice and called me hey. <laughs> I will always admire this guy and the great humble who has led me and introduced me to the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And a preacher has once said, when life comes to hope, people need hope. They need Jesus. The hope and glory is the hope for us all. And let me share to you Romans 8, 38, 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. No. Lastly, I want to say, we have one goal in this short life we live on planet Earth. Do not lose focus. Serve the purposes of God. Thank you.